Welcome to episode 3 of KSP, but the solar system is in real scale. And we're only using stock parts, obviously. Um, well, maybe not so obvious if you're like just joining us, but you know what I mean. Uh, so I got two new quests, science data from space around the moon, which should be a breeze to do. Should be able to do that instantly. Maybe even our satellite could do that right now. And then we have mainsail uh, landed at Earth. So we could have access to the mainsail right now, and we might be able to send Jeb to the moon. The moon, not the moon. All right, we have Luna One. Let's see if we can get some science data and just finish that contract instantly. Ugh, I hate old me so much right now. I really hate old me right now, oh my god. Okay. Great, okay, I'm gonna have to launch a whole new vessel. Only 10 science, really? Get docking ports? If anyone knows how to fix this, like where all of them are just gray. Yeah, you know, just tell me in the in the comments. Cause I I want to be able to look at the objects and know instantly what it is. Cause just having a bunch of gray dots in the sky isn't that isn't that appealing. Except for Mercury, I guess that's fine. But Jeb is for sure getting stranded there. Like I feel like there's no doubt about it. Well, there's no shot. Jeb's coming home. I'm I'm just saying that right now. 3,500 meters a second left. He's not at the moon yet. This is what I was expecting him to have in orbit. Alright? He might not be able to... No, he'll be able to land. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. It costs... It's probably going to cost us 300 to orbit. Play all the rest of the fuel to land. So. We'll land him on his bare feet if we have to. We'll, we'll make a rescue mission one day. Just right now, we can't afford to. Alright. As long as we don't mess up, we shouldn't fling out of the solar system. Or at least the Kerbin system. Yeah, this is why I gotta just stick with probes. Because mancraft are just way too heavy. That's not looking good. That's allocating us zero fuel. Like, first we have to cut this down to where we are in orbital velocity. Right now we're not even zeroed out. Like, oh my god. Should be enough to get us home. At least. Let's get some more juicy science. And then I'm thinking instead of rescue him and rescuing him initially, we leave him there and we just land a uh, a probe next to him to take his science. All right, we can definitely land. We're definitely not getting back into orbit, so that's pretty awesome. And it's cutting it close too with just landing. So, uh, Jeb, you're, you're stuck here. Not sure what else to tell you. At least we made it. There's just no hope of rescue. And we don't have a president either, so we don't have a cool speech to give him. Alright, he's for sure making it quick saving, because whatever. It's just a Kerbal that's being stranded. This makes me feel like I just started KSP again, that's funny. I'm 
That's a crash. You mean land. How hard could it possibly be, they say. Oh. Careful my little spring, Jeb. We did it. Woo! Now what? <laughs> We're... We got some money back. We're not getting any of this science, though, because we don't have enough signal. Alright. Next mission is recover this science. All this juicy science Jeb is getting us, we're going to have to try and uh, get back. I'm sure he doesn't need a parachute. Wonder what we're gonna call it. <laughs> wait, gotta take the screenshot first. Oh wait, yeah, we gotta get the flag up. All right, I wanna, I wanna reposition that for that for the screeny. Gotta get this junk ship in the frame. If this whole thing landed by itself with full fuel, we probably would have been able to make it. Jeb's rest. Alright, well, we got the screeny. Um, let's perform some science, also known as golf. And it's gone. It's in orbit. Damn, that's a lot of science. Alright, all we have to do now is get a probe over here to land next to Jeb and steal all of his science because there's no way he's getting back home with that amount of fuel. Alright, looks like next pass we're gonna have to come down. No, it's been fun up here, but we gotta go. Looks like we're gonna have quite a bit of fuel left over. Unless I fuck it up really terribly. Alright, so we should burn uh, around 21,000. Actually, way less than that, but whatever. Nice. Stuck the landing. Alright, now all we have to do is, um... Screeny. Alright, good job, Jeb. You get to rest here, since you just moved 10 kilometers. And you get the special job of getting all my science in hold up yeah hold up we have to allow partial uh... allow partial quick save and let's send it all this gives us the main sale uh... wolfhound's all the way back there man Alright, well we get mainsail, we get a really good booster, and the cheetah, and the skiff I guess, but I don't use skiff that much. Alright, I'm gonna spend a lot of money on that. Now it's physically impossible for us to, to save Jeb. Alright. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode of RSS Stock Career. We got to the Mun, not the Mun, the Moon, and we landed Jeb on it, and we landed a craft on the Moon, and we got a relay on it. 
Um, the relay was pointless. Oh, we got another satellite around the moon just for a science quest. Just whatever. Relay was pointless. Jeb's landing was almost pointless. We just got a bit of science from him. But we didn't get the science until we landed the second lander. Which was like a quarter of the cost and did the same thing. Except actually successfully. So, uh, we're going to have to plan a Jeb rescue mission. And we're also going to have to make a space station to do it. Like, I'm thinking that's the only way. 